Hi students, welcome to your beginning tuning guitar lesson. The first thing we're going to do is not tune our guitar, but we're going to get familiarized with our six strings on the guitar. And I'm going to show you how simple that is. So here we go. The first thing is that the lowest and the highest string on your guitar are the same exact letters. Now, if you already know that, hang in there, okay? So let's just go over refresher if you already know this. So the next thing is to remember that you have E, A, the next string up is what? D, G, B, and E. Now, after you familiarize yourself with the letter names, let's figure out a good way for you to memorize your six strings. Now, you can play um, and try to figure it out on your own, but a good way to memorize these six strings is that E for eagle, A for maybe uh, a kuna matata, <laughs> uh, D for dog, G for giraffe, uh, B for buzzard and e for eagle now if you want to put it into food form you could say uh e for um mm, e for eating a for appetite <laughs> d for doritos g for gelato Ooh, now i'm getting hungry uh b for biscotti and then E for eating again. So the low E and the high E could be E for eating. So eating, appetite, Doritos, gelato, um, what did I say, Bisc biscotti, and then eating again. Um, so you can put it into animal form, food form, um, you know, anything that would help you memorize these letters really quickly, because that's the first step for you to learning how to tune. Okay, so now that we know how to memorize that, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a screen share and let's start tuning. I have an online, free online tuning um, website here that I found on online. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and zoom in. Make this bigger so you can see me too. Yay! Okay, so as you can see, this letter right here. Woo! Where'd it go? There it is. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's your E. Good. So as you're playing that, let's do it together. Let's tune together. So as you can hear, my string is not as Right on that pitch, so let's figure it out. Bum. That's too low. So we are wanting to turn it not this way because that makes it lower going this way. So we're going to make it go what counterclockwise. Now let's see if it sounds good. It's too high, so let's make it lower. Yeah, that sounds good. Just exactly the way it sounds. And let's go to A now. A for appetite. Sounds just right. Now, if it was out of tune, that means it's too low. So we need to go higher. See how easy that is? Awesome. Let's go to D. So the next string over D. So you can hear it, it's definitely out of pitch. So it's a little too high on my end. So I'm gonna make it lower, which was what? Clockwise. So it's too low, go higher. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so let's stop that and go to the next string. And if you need to rewind this and go back over this again, that's totally cool. G. So it sounds just right. 
But if yours sounded like this, you need to go which way? Higher. So counterclockwise to go higher. So remember it's counterclockwise to go higher and clockwise to go lower. So the next string over, which is B. So you can tell it's definitely at a little out, out of pitch, but it's not too bad. So is it too high or is my string too high or too low? It's too high, so we need to make it low. That's too low. Let's make it a little higher. Perfect. Yay. Okay, and last string. Let's go to E. Perfect. Yay. A little out pitch. There we go. That's good. All right. Awesome. Screen share is stop. Okay. So now that you have have the beginning stage of familiarizing yourself with all six strings and tuning, you're going to want to go ahead and set up a Zoom meeting with me for your first lesson. And in your first lesson, you'll get to learn your G major scale and you'll get to learn some basic chords. If you already know basic chords, we can definitely move on from where you had experience and I'll help you progress into wherever you want to learn from. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.